In this video, we're going to connect a webhook to a Google Sheet for um, high level. So this is when an opt-in comes in to one of your go high level campaigns. Um, it gets a webhook that grabs that input and brings it to a Google Sheet where all of the opt-ins will accumulate. So what we wanna do uh, quite simply is uh, let's set up a trigger for that to happen. So we're in our Go High Level account, we're in our sub account, and we're gonna set up a, a new trigger and we're just gonna say uh, web hook to uh, Google Sheet. Okay. So here I'm gonna say the easiest is probably the contact tag is tag added is contest opt-in, okay? And the action is let's um, send webhook. Do, 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 do. Just a second, where did it go? Execute webhook. And now we need the URL from, in this case, we're gonna use Zapier. So let's go to Zapier and I'm in the private folder of this company. So let's make a new zap. Let's go uh, webhook. You need a premium account for this. Choose account. We're going to catch the hook. Continue. And this is the hook here. So I'm gonna copy that hook. I'm gonna go back to go high level. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to put it as uh, activate and I'm gonna save it. Okay. So now we're saying anybody that hits this contest opt-in form, grab this information and put it in, uh, use this zap and let's now attach it to a Google spreadsheet. So let's test the trigger. Let's come up to the spreadsheet. Oh, sorry. Um, we couldn't find a request. Let's test trigger again. It should find it because I just did one let me just pause this to make sure that. Okay, I didn't submit, so let me just uh, test the trigger again. Test the trigger again. <laughs> I know what's going on with this today. One of those days, test the trigger again. Okay, let's just pause this whole. Okay, finally, not sure why that happened, but um, I hit the test trigger about 20 times and it finally connected, so, um, we now have my result in here, so let's continue. And let's connect it to a Google Sheet. Let's choose the event. So pretty much always it's creating a new spreadsheet row. Continue. Choose your account. So I've got this account that I'm using. Continue. Choose a value, my Google Drive. Let's choose the sheet. Now I've already created a Google Sheet for Oxford Learning North Bay contest. And uh, opt-ins and answers, there you go. Bingo. So now we just need to pull the data and associate it with these categories, okay? So um, actually I'm gonna add one more thing to this form and I'm gonna add in date. We we really need the date here. So refresh the fields, date comes in. Okay, let's just go, um, I always go zap meta date and I just copy, I just copy this thing right here. Seems to always work for moi, I put it there. So that's good. And now let's go match these fields. So parent, um, parent first name parent or guardian's first name, good. Let's match the last field, parent or guardian's last name, pardon me, not the last field, the last name. Now we're gonna do student's um, first name, perfect. Let's match student's last name, perfect. Let's match phone number, perfect. Let's match email, perfect. Let's match answer. Come down here, my answer was eight. Do, 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 enter your answer right there. Okay, so now this data is going to be pulled into the sheet. 
So let's just um, webhook to Google Sheet. Uh, let's just test and review. So this information now should have been brought to this form. There you go. Parent first, parent last, student first, student last, phone number, email, answer is eight, and the date is date and time is right there. So that's what we want for this contest. So that's perfect. And now we're just going to turn that zap on. I've named the zap. We're going to turn it on. And it is live in the sheet. So that's how you easily set up a trigger. And that's what we did, a web hook. So we set up a contact tag originally. The tag is added to the, um, and the tag is contest opt-in. We executed a web hook. We grabbed it from Zapier, and then we just built it out inside Zapier. Okay, thanks.